Tanjo painting has a very long tradition and history in Indian art. Hi budding artists, welcome to Ayat Studio. This is Aishwarya Bharat. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel for easy painting videos. We are in the series of Indian paintings under the Eastern style. If you are interested in the previous Indian paintings such as mural, wali, pichai, patachitra and kalamkari painting using acrylics, click this link to watch it. And the sixth one we are painting today is Perumal in Tanjur style. I have drawn the basic shape for this painting. Draw three circles and two lines in the center. With that, we shall continue to draw the face. We shall draw two circles on each side with two different sizes. And then we can make the shape for the head. There are two elements on the right and left side of the face. We shall draw the chakra on the left side and then the conch on the right side. I'm going to draw the face now only to have an idea of where things goes, knowing that it would be covered by paint soon. Now you can take a screenshot and have this as your reference image for painting. As a second step, I'm taking a half inch flat brush and red color to paint the background. Slowly do this without getting into the foreground designs. Make a thin coat initially and once it dries, go for the second and third coat. Complete the circle with red paint. Carefully go over the edges. I'm switching to a small round pointed brush in the areas where there are intricate designs. Now as the next step, I took a quadrant flat brush and black color to paint the outer circle. The colors are completely optional and feel free to change colors of your own choice. I have given a space in between red and black where we'll highlight them later with gold color. Now I have mixed blue, black and white to get this gray color which will be the base color for the face and the garland in the neck.
I'm using a quarter inch flat brush for this application. For the leaves in the garland, I use sap green and for the roses, pink color will be the base. Make sure you give two or three coats for this. I'm taking a round pointed brush and black color to paint the eyes, nose and lips. If you are not sure where it comes, use a pencil to draw and then come over with paint. But this is a base coat, we'll work on the face later in detail. Now I have taken a half inch flat brush and gold color to paint the elements like chakra, conch and all the ornaments. In the traditional Tanjo painting, we will stick the real gold foil here but today I am showing it with paint. The beauty of Tanju painting is its richness. The real gold foil, glass beads and the precious gems used add value to the painting. A unique feature of this painting is it gives you a three dimensional effect and also it glows in dark due to its gold foil usage. Using the modern techniques, we are painting it on canvas but originally this painting is done on wooden planks. Now we shall paint all four borders with gold color. It will be transparent so go for three or more coats to cover it. Once we are done with our background colors, I'm taking a small round pointed brush to outline all the designs. Take time and slowly do this as this would define the neatness of the painting. The crown portion should be filled with designs. If you are unsure of the designs, first draw it with pencil and then come over with paint so that there won't be any mistakes. Later we shall stick stones here to make it rich. Even this outlining step has to be done twice to make it brighter.
we shall work on the garland now. I am using a small round pointed brush and white color to make circular designs that resemble roses. Highlight with red and make it brighter. Add light green to highlight the leaves on both the sides. Moving to the white flowers on either side, I use a light grey color and make small lines here and there creating textures. Highlight it with brighter white for more realistic flowers. I have quickly drawn designs in the four corners with pencil. Now we shall work it out with black paint as the outline. Repeat the same process for three corners. Now I'm painting the floor and I'll later highlight it with white lines. Now we finished our painting and we have one more step left which is adding richness to the painting by sticking stones. Add all the final details before signing it and here is a finished piece of Tanjur painting. Take a closer look of this style of painting. Subscribe to iArt Studio for more Eastern style paintings in the upcoming weeks. See ya!